So I don't have a five axis CNC machine. So this is what I have to do to get to the pack drilling operations for the grub screw holes. I'm essentially mounting it in this vise and my CNC has an overhang. So the bit can actually extend past this rail, which is the end of the CNC machine. It can go out pretty far. And so what I do is I have it on this vise, which means it's dropping this really long locking clamp down pretty low. So I'm only off about maybe two inches off the bed. And so this gives me plenty of Z access to peck drill the last three grub screw holes. And so all that's happening here is just doing a peck drilling operation. So it essentially goes down, goes back up, goes down, goes back up, goes down, goes back up to really clear out the chips. I had already made the grub screw holes for the lower strings down here. And these grub screw holes go in this way. So then I flipped it. The last three are gonna be oriented this way. So that might be a little bit awkward, but it really helps me in the machining process due to the Z axis height.
this is going to be or not. It's just aluminum. 6061, I think. I've spared you the machining process. This was pretty painful and time consuming, but was completely necessary. In this case, we have the curved nut with the nut slots and even all the round over bits already done and machined. It just needs to be cleaned up. So this stock needed to be faced. It was too high. So the first operation was a facing operation. You can see these machining marks from the very large diameter bit. And then what I did was I did a halfway contour. So I went down and I stopped about four millimeters short. That way I can come in with another bit and do the adaptive paths and the finishing paths for these curves because all this is rounded over from here to there and the ends are rounded over here and this is rounded over here as well. Once that was done, I could use my end mills to machine the nut slots. These nut slots are not to depth. I do the depth with nut slot files. These are only here for the correct placement and orientation. And then once those were done, I could redo the contour path to finish off what was left. 